Hey ladies and gents, welcome back to another tutorial. And in today's tutorial, we'll be answering another question from the survey. So let's get started then. Uh, compression, leveling, EQ. These are too general. These questions are too general. I don't know what type of compression you're talking about. Compressing the mix, compressing a bass, compressing a kick. Uh, like that's too general. Same thing with the leveling and EQ. So we'll skip this one. And then avoiding clipping of sound okay so today we'll be talking about gain staging and how to avoid clipping so let's get started then let's see now when it comes to gain staging for me gain staging starts in recording uh during production sound design and all that stuff so what i do is to use a vu meter so when i record like vocals i make sure that i use a vu meter so check this out Like I can choose any sound. Let's choose the kick for instance. Let's play the kick. As you can see, it's picking at around 0 dp VU, not 0 dp full scale, okay? 0 dp VU. So you'll need a VU meter to measure uh, all this. So I can play any sound. Check this out. As you can see, my conga is picking at around uh, minus 1 dp VU. So let's say maybe the root. As you can see, they're picking at around 0 TPVU. They might go a bit uh, above 0 TPVU, but compression will take care of that and make sure that they're picking below uh, 0 TPVU. So let's check out maybe the strings. As you can see, the loudest peak was at about minus 1 dB. So let's say maybe your sounds are not peaking at uh, the right dB VU meter uh, level. So what you can do is to enable the clip gain. In Cubase, it's called pre-gain. So what you do, let's play only the strings. So as you can see, I gave them a little boost plus 3.8 dp just to make sure that they peak at 0 dp VU. So that's a good uh, starting point. And then the reason you, you don't want to use the fader is because the fader is post plugins. So the clip gain comes before any plugin. So before any insets. Okay. So that's why you need to use clip gain or pre gain. And then the next step would be to make sure that the entire mix is peaking at around 0 TPVU. So what I tend to do is to get a good balance for each and every instrument before making sure that the entire mix is peaking at 0 TPVU. So let me get a good balance for this mix really fast and then we'll take it from there. So I'll see you on the other side. Okay, welcome back. So now I have the entire mix peaking at 0 dp VU. Let me show you. Okay, so now uh, to get your entire mix peaking at 0 dp VU, what you'll do is to take all the channels and then just bring down the level a bit until your mix is peaking at 0 dp VU. It's really easy. So what you'll do, you'll insert the VU meter on your master channel or your mix bus, and then just bring down the volume for all your individual uh, instruments. This is when you can use your fader because you are can staging the entire mix, not just uh, an individual sound. And then after that, it's all about level matching. Level matching is really important. Uh, let me give you a simple example. I just uh, mixed uh, the the low end. Let me mute the other sounds really quick. So what I did was just to create a rough mix for the low end so that I can show you how important level matching is. So I've muted everything else. Okay. Besides the bass and the low percussion. Okay, so this is how it sounds. Uh, 
So there's no effects or anything like that. And then what I'm going to do is to engage all the effects. Now let's check it out again. Now, as you can see, we didn't gain any volume. The only thing that we did is to make the sounds fit better with each other, okay? And then let me show you why we didn't gain any level even after adding effects. So, for instance, the EQ, as you can see, I made sure that I level match the EQ. So, all these boosts, I compensated all these boosts by lowering the output. Same thing with the Timbale kit, as you can see even on the bass as well okay i didn't use eq on this one so this one as you can see there was gain compensation so even the compression as well so if you check out the timbale kit So with and without the compressor, the level remains the same so that you can be able to get a fair comparison between the before and after so that you can have, you can be sure that whatever you're doing with the compressor benefits the sound. Okay, so let's say maybe you didn't gain much. Okay, let's just uh, put everything at zero. We'll just take the EQ, put it at zero. So I want to show you what happens if you don't level match your, your plugins. So this one will just leave it as is and then even the slit one it was level meshed so we'll just remove auto gain on this one and then let's play the bass and the low percussion again so check it out. So as you can see now we are peaking at around minus 5 dp fs minus 5 dp full scale and uh, on the vu meter we are now peaking at around uh zero dp vu again so you can imagine this is just a few eq moves and just one compressor so you can imagine the entire mix if you don't level match the entire mix then you have a problem like your mix will definitely clip so let me show you again. As you can see, we're peaking at around minus 5.4 dpfs. Like this is full scale. This is VU meter. So I'm going to undo everything just to make sure that I level match. You'll see on the plugin here. I'll just keep undoing, undo, undo. As you can see, now we're back to the settings. Like if I undo again, you see. So now everything is level meshed again, okay? So I want you to check it out again. So I'll reset this. Remember, it was at 5.4, right? So now with all the level matching, <clears throat> We are now peaking at minus 10.5 so that's a huge difference that's why it's important to always level match your plugins 
Level matching is also part of gain staging because you want to make sure that the volume remains the same and the mix, the balance of your mix remains the same. Because if you, let's say, you find yourself clipping and then you try to compensate that volume with a uh, with using your faders, like after you've inserted a lot of plugins, the sound of your mix is going to change. The balance and everything, you, you have to go back and start from scratch again. So that's what you, you must try to avoid. Gain staging is really important. Gain staging doesn't only end when your mix is at zero TPVU. It also includes gain matching. Make sure that you level match your EQ plugins, you level match your compressors. Everything has to be level matched, including like, uh, all your effects okay that's all about gain staging if you have any questions then make sure that you leave your question below and i'll definitely get back to you or send me an email my email is support at audiospectra.net and i'll definitely get back to you as quick as possible take good care of yourself stay safe protect your families friends and loved ones that's it for today cheers